Hey, what's up guys? So today let's talk about what to do with night vision once you purchase it. So a lot of guys, they'll purchase their stuff. They're all excited. They uh, put it all together and then they take pictures of it and that's it. <laughs> and uh, one of the things they miss out on is the fact that you could use this stuff every single day. So think about the way that you dry practice if you do. Um, if you don't, you should. And, uh, and think about how how much time you could put into these off the range than you could on the range. Now, there's a couple different things you can do. One is to dry practice with them, and we'll talk about a few things with that. And then two is to uh, practice in a way that assists in understanding how to use this stuff. And then also the third way is to just do normal people things with your night vision. So a couple things, right? So dry practice or using your stuff in dry practice when you dry practice your, your actual firearm skills or manipulation skills or transitional skills or visual skills, any of those things, they can all be done under night vision. Now, the only one, or I'm sorry, the, the caveat to that is if you can't get dark enough yet without it being dark outside because you have like windows in your office or whatever, that's okay you can literally do everything that you're still doing minus the weight of the, the helmet or the night vision viewing through the night vision. So you could actually wear the helmet on your head, keep your night vision up and still work a lot of those different skills, getting used to the helmet on your neck, uh, getting used to actually working the laser and the safety at the same time, um, learning to use the laser and bring it up to where you're looking versus like, you know, fishing it around. Um, the same thing with your handgun, right? An RDS handgun, you bring it up the same exact way that you would normally is exactly how you do it under night vision. So when it, when it goes through that process or when you're going through that process, you could get a lot of reps before it even gets dark, which I highly recommend because that'll help you with like normal shooting. Then it gets dark enough or you have a dark enough space to play with them, throwing them down starts taking away like okay, I don't have peripheral vision anymore, or I have very low peripheral vision because the ambient light is very little. Play around with those things, right? See what you can actually see. Play with like reloads because reloads are gonna be one of the tougher things that people do other than malfunctions under night vision because they don't know, one, they don't know what's happening until they feel it or they just go through the process of unloading it and then reloading it. So depending on the style of whatever you're doing. So when it, when it comes down to it though, like you can get a lot of work in before you even turn these things on. And then once you turn them on, you're good to go. So it's, it goes back to the same reason I tell people buy a laser, a good laser prior to like getting your night vision or order your laser at the same time because your night vision may need to get built or something. That way you can start getting dry reps with that visible laser, whether you're dry or on the line or at, at range. So getting a lot of reps of those things already. Now, the, the second way or the, the, the second thing to kind of go through, like I said, is things that you could do with your night vision, like regular people stuff. Um, one of the, the easy ones, like, I mean, for example, prior to this video, I was sweeping the house and sweeping the house under night vision is kind of weird, but it's like a very easy skill that we normally do or some of you normally do. And, uh, and now you're doing it under nods. So very, very interesting, especially when it comes to like focus and, and trying to sweep everything up you may miss some things. Um, but it's, it's a one, a great excuse for why you sweat bad, uh, to, to your significant other. But secondly, it's a, it's a really good way of starting to learn your new depth perception. So when you're under night vision, a lot of people think you lose depth perception. And I, I think that's false because at a certain point you gain depth perception again, because you're able to figure out how far objects are. So what you're really doing is, is starting to learn a new depth perception. And it's okay. It's just like being a toddler again. So you can wobble around. Some people look like they wobble around under nods, but you're just trying to learn how far things are once more. So do things that'll help enhance that. Whether you go outside and you play, you know, throw a ball around with your friends, or if you uh, throw a ball to your dog and have them fetch it, you go for a walk with your dog, maybe even go out and, and like, 
shit, I've had students mow the lawn under night vision. So anything you could do to like start getting that new depth perception, understanding the, the distances of things, and then also just work on it per yourself, right? Um, like making breakfast in the morning and stuff, try uh, pour a bowl of cereal with night vision on. It's interesting. Um, <laughs> be ready for spillage. Um, but, but really like it's, it's one of those really simple things that we don't think about using and that you can literally use every single day if you give it, give it the time. So, uh, uh a quick one and to kind of throw you guys a, a bone here or just give you guys more information. Um, one of the things I do on a, a nightly basis, if I'm home or if I have the time, I will go ahead, do my dry practice, right? Just like I do. So out of a holster or with the rifle, depending on which one I'm working that day or a mixture of both, and then do the same exact exercises that I had written down for that day under night vision, right? You could also do the same thing. If you're not doing this with night vision, you could also start translating this to white light stuff, right? So the same things you did during the day or with the lights on, go ahead and do them with the lights out. Right. And whether it's white light or night vision and you can really get a lot of work in and yes, it'll extend your dry practice time, but you invested in these, you might as well invest the time as well to learn how to use them properly and become more proficient with them. Um, the other benefit to it, the more you wear them, the more comfy you get under them. You start learning that not only the depth perception is new, but spatial awareness to objects um, and also how to scan around and, and not trip over Legos and Hot Wheels and stuff, but also to the, the, the comfort of learning how much weight you actually have on your noggin and what your neck isn't used to and now putting this on your neck or on your head and now trying to get used to that. You'll start learning that you wanna start ripping things off and removing certain things off your helmet to make it a little lighter for your head and or balancing it better like I've talked to talked about in a previous video about counterweights. So hopefully this helps guys, um, just, just some tips really and, and just a conversation per se, uh, one-sided conversation because I can't hear you guys, um, but it, it helps uh, hopefully with with some of you guys that are asking these questions like hey duffy what do i do now that i have night vision or what what should i do or where do i go with this or i can't shoot at the ranges at night so what can i do with my night vision if it's not in a class there's a ton of stuff so hopefully this helps but um but i will say like um the more you get into actually shooting with it uh and testing out what you did in your dry practice and confirming that you're dry practicing correctly, uh, that's where you're going to see the validation in utilizing more of your equipment and hopefully making yourself better over time. So hope that helps guys. If you have any questions, put them below. Uh, I'll get to them if I get to them and, uh, and, <laughs> and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.